Welcome back to day three of Adrian of Code 2022. Um, I think day two was easy enough. I realized I haven't really explained much about my way of thinking about it, but maybe we can do a little bit better this time. So without further ado, let's get started on day three. Rucksack reorganization. Okay. One elf has the important job of loading all of the rucksacks with supplies for the jungle journey. Unfortunately, the elf didn't quite follow the packing instructions and so a few items now need to be rearranged. Each rucksack has two large compartments. All items of a given type are meant to go into exactly one of the two compartments. The elf that did the packing failed to follow this rule for exactly one item type per rucksack. Okay, not sure. The elves made a list of all of the items currently in each rucksack, your puzzle input, but they do need your help finding the errors. Every item type is identified by saying lowercase or uppercase letter, that is A and A refer to different types of items. The list of items for each rucksack is given as characters all on a single line. A given rucksack allows always has the same number of items in each of its two compartments. So the first half of the characters represent items in the first compartment, while the second half of the characters represent items in the second compartment. For example, suppose you have the following list of contents from six rucksacks, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six lines, one line per rucksack. The first rucksack contains the items this, which means its first compartment contains the items V2 lowercase r, I guess because that's the first half, while the second compartment contains the items, yeah, H2 lowercase p. The only item type that appears in both compartments is lowercase p. Okay. The second rucksack's compartment contains J blah 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 to L and R to S, so J to L, R to L here. The only item type that appears in both compartments is uppercase L. The third rucksack's compartment contains P to V, V to G, so I guess P is in both. Okay. Rooks only share the item type V, the fifth rooks only share the item type T, the sixth rooks only share the item type S. Okay. To help prioritize item rearrangement, every item type can be converted to a priority. Lowercase item types A through Z have priorities 1 through 26. Uppercase item types A through Z have priorities 27 through 52. In the above example, the priority of the item type that appears in both compartments of each rucksack is 16, 38, 42, 22, 20, and 19. The sum of these is 157. Find the item type that appears in both compartments of each rucksack. What is the sum of the priorities of those item types? Okay, I think that is a lot of words and a lot of fluff for saying we need to split every input line in half. First compartment, second compartment. We then find which character is in both and then convert that to the priority and then sum up all of them. Fair enough. What I'm not quite sure from the input now is if there are backpacks that are packed correctly, aka there is no character in, in both sides or no item in both sides, uh, and if there are if there are characters or like if there are rucksacks that might have multiple. 
Uh, I, I don't think it says, or I, or I missed it. So I, I think I'm going to work for now with the assumption that there is always one item that is in both compartments. Okay. Example input, this should result in 157. So dev test returns 157 for example input. Should we do it like this again? So should we do like a closure dot string as string and then do a string dot slash join with a backslash n as the separator and then we grab all of this and here we got one. Okay. Uh, can I format you? Uh, format current form. Yes, lovely. And then one thing I want to turn, I want to turn this preview thingy off. I know you can do it. Sorry, give me a second. Lovely. There we are. Input this, 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 that. Okay. And now we just want to say is <coughs> equal to 157 for core slash U. Um, boy, what do they call it? So it is the... It says here, find the item type that appears in both compartments of each looks like. So it kind of like indicates there's only one. So, uh, I don't know what to name this function. I gotta be honest. Wrong items priority sum. Boy, it's a horrible name. This is a horrible name. Name, and those are guess like th those are like rucksacks, aren't they? What's the plural of rucksack in English? Is it rucksacks? <laughs> we wanna execute. No syntax error probably because we need to get off this. No such var. That is correct. Def in wrong. Items priority sum is taking rock six. Uh, <clears throat> and returns nil for now. You are unhappy. Ah, oh, of course you are unhappy. Kind of a slash in there. Run all tests. One test finished. Uh, it was nil. That is expected and good. So what is the simplest thing we can think of? Um, returns one for item A in both compartments so if we let our rock six be AA oh, does that really need that doesn't really need a let does it we can just say is equal to uh, sorry one right cool slash wrong items priority for AA because if I remember correctly here we can close this for now, thank you very much. A is one. So it will give us the sum meaning one, right? It's not, yeah, okay. Well, <clears throat> right, so we have, a, we have rock six, we have a single rock six, only one line. Uh, it's the smallest possible rock six we can think of because it um, has only two items, one in each compartment. It is A, A's priority is one. Um, so if we execute this and run it, it's gonna be nil. And the easiest way to think about making passing this is like, if we wanna be like super, just make it pass. 
is doing this, which of course is not super useful, is it? Um, but it's something. <clears throat> so what we can do is we could turn this into an R. So if we turn this into an R, make this a parameterized test for all of the basically A to Z and then uppercase A to uppercase Z um, and then all of the numbers all the way through. And that wouldn't be too bad. I'm just trying to see if we should, we could, what I'm thinking is if we do an R and you have to, I need to remember how to exactly do this. So I think R is like this, something like that. And I think you do equal expected sum. I guess we should maybe like import it. it, might help. And then core slash wrong items priority. So we could do it like this here, and then we need like our input. So we could do A and one, B and two, etc., etc., etc. Or we do A as the character, and then we say something like, and that's what I'm not sure about, like a string slash join with nothing. A, A, what, what is that? There's a function to like repeat something like a certain amount of times. Is it repeat? I think repeatedly is an infinite one. It sounds a lazy infinite sequences of x's. Okay, so repeat to a, that should give us a string join. Oops, it's not what I wanted. That works. So, we could do that, right? We could say string join repeat to item. And now we don't need this, we just say B, for example, here. So, and if we run this, I expect that to fail. So we can get rid of this is here. We've now parameterized our test. Uh, returns priority for item for single item in both compartments. Something along those lines. So expected to actual one, that makes sense, right? So for the second time it runs this, once two, it gets one. So now we actually need to do something with this. Um, what is the first best way to go about this? So we could do something like, uh, if we have like a def n item to priority, then we could either do a map that is like a is one, B is two, etc. Oh, which seems a little bit annoying. I always forget, can you turn? I don't think it likes that, does it? Oh, it does. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Hat jetzt noch, der noch in Uhr da. They're not in order, it's not like all of the lower cases, then all of the upper cases. Um, so what I am thinking is just making a list. like this and then getting the index and adding one it could work getting the index is always annoying a little bit in closure unfortunately um because you need to use like this i think Oops. Uh, and then which item you want. So A, for example. That would work. That would work. Okay, so if we start small, ink, uh, we need item, ink, index of a, b, so 0, 1, ink increments by 1 of item, then if we try this out, that should give us 1, that should give us 2, lovely. And now we just return this for item to priority for first of rucksacks. So very, very, very simple. That works. Um, so I am quickly going to add all of the other cases and then all of the other items uh, to get all of the items into the list. All right, perfect. So all of these are passing now. Um, I don't really want to add all of the uppercase ones uh, into the same test. So I, I have to think of like, I, I like being able to look at a whole test in one go. I don't, I don't want to have to scroll to look at a single test. And if we add all of the uppercase letters, we will have to scroll, which would be very annoying. Or is it okay in this case? I th yeah, I don't know. Mm. No, I would like, I don't know. It, it just feels wrong to me. It, it's probably fine. So I'm just going to return for for single uh, lowercase item in both compartments and then here for single uppercase item. And then what we need to do is, and this is going to be a little, right? Is this 26? I hope I did this right. 1 to 26 and then 27 to 52. So 27, and I think I can uppercase all of this. Uh, can I? Up 
per case. Ha! So 27, 28, 29. Fifty-two. Let's double check if that checks out. Fifty-two. Yep. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna def lowercase items as this one. I'm gonna def uppercase, or I'm gonna yank paste and be lazy. Is and now we're going to transform this to uppercase again, and then we're going to say items is concat lowercase items and uppercase items. And I think this should be enough to make all of this pass. Perfect, that is pretty. Decent, pretty decent. Yeah, I've written worse code. So, but of course that only works for small backpacks. So I think the next step in complexity is now actually having a bigger backpack. So if we say returns priority for item in bigger or so if we do for example like a b c b then we would need to find b right for item b if item if b is in both compartments i always really try to stick with the language of the domain and the language of the problem so they talk about like items and compartments and all of that stuff so um is equal to I mean, why have we chosen B? We can choose something. We can choose something A other, right? We could do A. Because I don't really want to. Why didn't they choose A? Why did they choose B? So if we do X, A, or A, B, A, C, maybe? But now that would pass because we picked the first one. So X, a y a something like that one course slash wrong items priority sum rook sucks so this is gonna fail right because that's gonna give us 24 because 24 is the x in this list right because we're just picking the first one so what we actually need to do now is we need to split <clears throat> the rucksacks into, or like the single rucksack into its halves. So what I don't remember is let left compartment split it n Take and drop in, that's exactly what we want, right? So we want to split it. Oh, it's an interesting one. So split it one A B. So A and B. A, B, C, D. So we would probably 
split at 2 now. So that is divided uh, <laughs> count AB by 2. So split at Oh, and that's not actually left compartment, just that is two vectors, so we can destructure that in line here and say left compartment, right compartment. Uh, then form it, can form. And now we need to find the overlap. So I am pretty sure well if we only need to find one then there are two ways we could go about it. We could turn the right compartment into a set because using a set as a function makes it uh, like a lookup and then we just find the first one in the left compartment that will be found in the set. So if we basically say first, uh, so if you have a set and it has like A and B and you ask it for A, then that will return A and if it is C, it will return nil. And then if we First filter item. Then we use the set as a function here A B item. There's our filter function. Then we still need a list of things to find. So for example, B, then that will return B. And if it is A, then we return A. And if it is D, well, then it wouldn't come up, right? Yep. I don't know if there's a better way of doing this. But it also doesn't seem too bad. It doesn't seem too bad. I always think with like first filter, is there like, is there like an any or something? You know what, we're gonna make this work and then we can uh, figure out if there's a better way of going about it. So, um, item in both is and basically exactly this, but this is set of right compartment and this is our left compartment. And then we get the priority of the item in both. Do you pass? It passes. Does it actually pass? <laughs> well, seems happy, doesn't it? In that case, this is now for a single one and we have to do it for all of the items. So, Def n 
wrong item priority of a single one a single hook suck and then this is apply plus of map wrong item priority in rucksack over string slash split lines of rucksacks form it form get rid of this delete that and then let's see if all tests finish. Well, let's give it a go with the input. All right. Back from lunch, grabbing our input. Ah, day three, new file input. Well, actually, if we spell it correctly, that would be helpful. So, and then <clears throat> in the core, we're going to steal that from the other days. Day three. 7850. Let's see if that is correct. 7850. Nice. Very good. That was fun. I really enjoyed that one. So, um, what do I not like? Oh, first of all, I don't like these lines just lying around. Uh, I'm not. I, I'm. I'm not quite sure if this is ideal. This like first and filter. Uh, I feel like there might be a better way of doing this. Um, item in both first filter. Yeah, I'm. I'm slightly unsure. I think this isn't too bad. Uh, I mean, I guess this could just be like a single line, really. But. I think, I think this is kind of all right, isn't it? I don't really like the names of these functions, but I can't think of a really better name either. The, the names for these is sometimes hard because the puzzles, the puzzles are so specific and like so, uh, it's gonna sound stupid, puzzly. And I don't normally name my functions after the outcomes of puzzles. So maybe it's just like a skill issue on my end. But yeah, uh, I wonder if there's like a, I wonder if this should be extracted. Like something like first item in both compartments and then we do left compartment and right compartment and then we just Grab this, put it here, um, and then maybe another one that is like def in split or like rucksack to compartments, rucksack, and then we do this part. You know, 
then what we end up here is we say rucksack two compartments for rucksack and then first item in both compartments left compartment right compartment and then now i feel like we can actually thread this right so we could say we thread the rucksack into rucksack to compartments we then shove that into the first item in both compartments and then we say item to priority and what this is complaining about is uh, that that returns one list and that is currently expecting two lists. So what we can actually do is we can fix that by destructuring here. Like this and then format this expression again. And if we load current file, I wonder if this works. So this is wrong, this is wrong. So I don't care about this, don't care about that. And then run all tests. Yeah, it's so good. I think this is nicer. Um, makes me feel better. Makes me feel better. Hey, so while editing this video, I had another idea and I quickly tried it out and I think it's also okay. I, I don't want to say nice, I'm not quite sure, but so if you remember here, so I, I put this in a comment block for now. Um, we defined our lowercase characters, our uppercase characters, and then used the index of the concatenated list uh, and incremented that by one to kind of have the one to 26 for A to Z lowercase and then uppercase A to Z 27 to, what was it, 65, something like that. And I was thinking, I feel like we can probably use this like the integer version of a character so for a lowercase that's uh, 97 and then set it goes to 122 and for uppercase it is 65 and then it goes to 90. So basically we need to know because they're not like worded we need to know if it is lowercase or uppercase and what we can do is we can then subtract a specific amount to get basically to lowercase being a uh, sorry lowercase a being one and uppercase a being 27. So we say, give me the integer value of this character. And if it is lowercase, subtract 96. So if we have a look at this again, int a, this is 97. So if we subtract 96, we end up with one. Um, and that works all the way up to lowercase z. And if it is uppercase, then subtract 38. So 65 minus 38 is gonna give us 27. And we can do that all the way up to uh, uppercase set. And this works. This like passes everything. Uh, we don't need like a long list. And yeah, I, I, I quite like it, I have to say. I think it's a little bit, maybe it's a bit more cryptic. Maybe these should be like uh, dev lowercase item offset and dev uppercase. Um, and then we replace this, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, like, yeah, not quite sure. Or maybe just like, honestly, I might just write a doc string in here for this function. Um, something along the lines of, oh, does it go here? I think it goes here, doesn't it? So returns. 20, uh, 1 to 26 for A to Z and 27 to 56 for A to Z. Right, maybe that is good enough. But yeah, uh, I like this. Uh, I like that we don't have to keep these lists. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Anyway, I'm happy with this. This is, I, I, I like that. I think that's okay. Um, I think it's okay. All right. Well, 
Thank you very much. And I'll see you hopefully for day four.